give me a second to get it turned on. Oh, I wonder why it took so long, I would think, to come in like that. Well, this is the tier. Welcome to the 186th District Court. Court is in session. This is cause number 2019, CR11543, State of Texas versus Amanda Najla Lawi. We're here today for a plea. We're conducting this hearing via video conference using the Zoom application. We're also using YouTube to live stream the proceedings to keep the hearing public. Time now is 12.36 p.m. on the 12th day of July, 2021. These proceedings are official. They're on the record and they're being reported by the official court reporter, counsel, and all present are instructed to act as though you're in court and all are reminded not to record the proceedings. And if I could have the attorneys make appearances, starting with the state of Texas, please. Travis Banks for the state of Texas. Michael White, your honor, for the defense. Ma'am, are you the same Amanda Najlawawi charged by indictment with possession with intent to deliver a controlled substance, penalty group one from one to four grams? Is that you, ma'am? Yes, sir. And state, are we proceeding as charged? Yes. No, Your Honor, the state will waive the intent to deliver enhancement and will uh, proceed on the lesser included possession uh, of less than a gram. So it's going to be count two lesser included of possession less than one gram? That's correct, Your Honor. All right, thank you, Miss. Najla Awi, we use a function of Zoom. It's called Share Screen. I'm going to show you the indictment in this case. Put your name up here, has the charge here. It has the two counts, but the state's only going to go on count two, the lesser included account two. But are you familiar with this document, ma'am? Yes, sir. Did you go over this with your attorney? Uh, I believe so, sir. Well, do you know or? Yes, sir. Okay. And do you understand it? Yes, sir. Mr. White, do we waive reading of the indictment? I do, Your Honor. I'm going to get out of share screen. I will note that there is a discovery acknowledgement that's been signed and dated by both sides. I'm doing the same. Make it a part of the record. And then I'm going to use share screen again, ma'am, to show you another document. It's called the Defendant's to Consent to Plea by Video Conference. I'm using my cursor to circle around an electronic signature. Is this yours? Yes, sir. I signed this document. You're telling me two things. <clears throat> One is you understand normally we do pleas live in an open court, but you are consenting to do this plea by video conference. Did you understand that when you signed this? Yes, sir. Secondly, your electronic signature here, as well as all the other electronic signatures of yours in the plea packet in front of me, you're telling me those are valid as if you personally signed those documents. Did you understand that when you signed this? Yes, sir. I approve the consent and I make it a part of the record. I'm still in share screen, but now I'm showing you another document called the court's admonishments. I'll scroll through because it's several pages. But are you familiar with this document? Yes, sir. Did you go over this with your attorney? Yes, sir. Did you understand it? Yes, sir. On the bottom of page four is an electronic signature. Is this yours? Yes, sir. I'm going to get out of share screen. By signing the court's admonishments, you are telling me that you understand the court's admonishments, that you understand the rights are contained within it. Is that true? Yes, sir. And that you want to give up those rights. Is that true? Yes, sir. And the rights that you're giving up is you're giving up the right to a trial by jury, giving up the right to confront the witnesses against you. You're also giving up the right to remain silent, which includes the right not to incriminate yourself, not plead today. Do you understand that before you sign yes, sir. this? Signing this, you're also telling me you understand the consequences of a plea in the sentencing range for the lesser included offense, count to possession of a controlled substance, only group one, some one gram, which is anywhere from 180 days to two years in the state jail and up to a $10,000 fine. Did you understand that before you signed this? Yes, sir. I approve the waivers that are contained within the court's admonishments and make them a part of the record. And we're going to go back into share screen again. This time I'm going to show you the plea bargain in this case. Are you familiar with this document? Yes, sir. Go over this with your attorney. Yes, sir. Do you understand it? Yes, sir. Electronic signature to the left. I'm using my cursor to circle around. There's another one to the right. I'm using my cursor to circle around. Are these your two signatures? Yes, sir. This document details for me your agreement with the state as far as punishment is concerned. And I'll let you know if I'm going to follow this prior to the entry of your plea. 
First says that the prosecution will only proceed in the lesser included offense of possession of controlled substance, penalty group one, less than one gram. It says that you have a state jail felony conviction, but in the provisions of penal code 12.44, class A misdemeanor punishment will be assessed with 183 days in the Barrow County Jail. It'll be a $1,500 fine. There's no application for community supervision. And one of your signatures, the one on the left, waives your appeal. Is that your understanding of the agreement, ma'am? Yes, sir. Counsel, is that your understanding as well? It is, Your Honor. I'm going to get out of share screen. Ma'am, I'm not bound by a plea bargain. I do not have to follow this. Do you understand that? Did you hear me, ma'am? Oh, uh, one more time. I'm not bound by a plea bargain. and I don't have to follow the plea bargain. Do you understand that? Yes, sir. But if I do follow the plea bargain, then you lose your right to appeal. Do you understand that? Yes, sir. And that's true unless I grant you permission to appeal or unless certain motions are filed and ruled upon. Do you understand that? Yes, sir. Counsel, any such rulings in this case? I'm, I'm sorry, Your Honor. What was that? Any such rulings in this case? No, Your Honor. If I do not follow the plea bargain, then I will allow you to withdraw the plea and will proceed to trials if this hearing never occurred. Do you understand that? Yes, sir. Note again, one of your signatures on the plea bargain waives your appeal. Are you a citizen of the United States? Yes, sir, I am. If not, then a plea of guilty or no contest to the lesser included offense of count two could have serious adverse effects on your immigration status. And I'll note that you certified in the court's admonishments that you are an American citizen. Counsel, do you believe that your client has a factual or rational understanding of the charge pending against her? I do, Your Honor. Do you believe that she's been able to assist you in the defense? Yes, she has. Do you believe that she's mentally competent to waive rights and enter a plea here today? I believe so. Ma'am, to lesser included offense of count two, possession of controlled substance, penalty group one, less than one gram. How do you plead guilty, not guilty, contest? No contest. You understand that you can still be found guilty under a no contest plea? Yes, sir. Other than the plea bargain, did anyone promise you anything in exchange for your plea today? No, sir. Did anyone force you or coerce you to plead today? No, sir. You're going over this case with your attorney. Do you believe that pleading here today is in your best interest? Yes, sir. Does the state have anything to offer to support the plea? Yes, sir. Yes. The state offers state's exhibit one and its attachment. <clears throat> Any objections, Mr. White? No objection. It's admitted. I reviewed state's exhibit one and its attachments prior to getting on the record and find that it is sufficient to support the plea. Ma'am, I find that your plea was freely, intelligently, and voluntarily made, that there was sufficient evidence to support the plea, and that you're mentally competent to enter into such a plea, and I find you guilty. Counsel, is there any legal reason as to why your client cannot be sentenced today? No, you don't. No legal reason. In accordance with agreement with the state, you have a state jail felony conviction. In the provisions of Penal Code 12.44a, I will impose Class A misdemeanor punishment with 130 days in the, rather, with 183 days in the Bear County Jail. I give you credit for time served. There is a $1,500 fine. The time and the money shall run concurrent. Ma'am, this is a plea bargain case, so I follow the plea bargain. So do not have the court's permission to appeal. You don't have a right to appeal. Also noting you waived your appeal in the plea bargain agreement. And the certification of this for the record, I'll provide a copy of the certification to your attorney to provide to you. Is there anything else from either side in regards to the plea or to the sentence? Um, your Honor, I, just to point out for the record that the defendant has 183 days credit and uh, should be JSAT. Judgment right. satisfied. I'll note that this is judgment satisfied as well. And good luck to you, ma'am. This Thank you. Matter, this matter is now concluded.